All right, Lucas, demonstrate getting into, but do not buckle, okay? So you're gonna get inside, sit down like you normally do, and then And then we're going to uh, activate this. Let's see what happened to his feet. Oh my gosh. Ah. Look at what look at what happened. It pinched him. No, it didn't. I moved my feet. Yeah, you moved your feet. It doesn't really crush my feet actually. Okay, let's try that again. So Lucas is sitting on a bubble bum. Oh you heard that uh, that noise didn't you that that plate again so we're going to close it on Lucas as you can see that seat is all the way forward you, you can probably see you can probably see what the difference is from here so I swear it will not crush me yeah hold on a second so that seat, Hello. it went all the way back because it did not sense him. So let's do the, the one more test, right? And Lucas, this time put on, this time Lucas, put on your seatbelt. I, I don't really know how to put on the seatbelt. Right there, your seatbelt is right there. So he's gonna put on his seatbelt. And you're going to see the difference because it's going to go back only to and I the correct put on amount. My you cannot? Okay, right, I'll help you. Thanks. Oh, God. Okay, so now you can leave your leg down, okay, because it's going to detect you because you have your seatbelt on, okay? See? Look at that. So it didn't crush me, guys. It did not crush him this time. Yeah. But if he takes on it takes off his seatbelt again, take off your seatbelt. He's gonna it's gonna crush my feet. It will. It will detect me if you don't know. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna see if it crushes his legs. Oh, see? It did it! It did, it went all the way back. Me. It didn't crush you, but last time it did, right? Let's see. I tried to move it back. Okay, yeah. So that's, well, it tried to crush him last time. So now, oh, so it doesn't detect him. Can, oh. can you remove the bubble bump? Remove the bubble bump. <laughs> and then uh, sit down normally, all the way back. Okay, all the way back. And then put your legs down, okay? So now uh, it's probably going to detect him because he's sitting directly on the seat and uh, he's sitting where the, the sensor is supposed to be. So he doesn't have his seatbelt on, okay? No seatbelt on. Don't move. See? Didn't crush me. Now it detects him. With the, bubble, with the bubble bum on, it doesn't. Hey, guys! <laughs> Hello! All right, thanks, Lucas. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. So look how, how hard it is for him to get out. How about you get back in? Let's see how easy it is for you to get in. Okay. Oh, for him, it's easy. And then for him to get out. Okay. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Aw, thank you. Bye. Bye, Lucas. So now I want to show you guys uh, the inside and where the sensors are on the inside. So right now I have the seatbelt um, on the driver's side uh, seat and I'm going to get in. Sit down on the driver's side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and I'll show you. It's actually over here, the sensor. So 
for both of the rear seats it's actually on the right hand side of the um, of the butt but when they have it the uh, booster seat here uh, it distributes the weight so uh, they it doesn't sense them until they buckle so we have to actually wait until he buckles up and the problem with this is if you look at these buckles they're really hard for any um, kid to actually get at so there's like a fair deal of resistance you have to hold it up like this with one finger it's even hard for me to do it so again let's see that if if it doesn't detect me let's see what happens that's how close it gets and when I go there and I sit my knees are all the way up against it so if I were to sit here there goes that uh, sound again and then I bring this back it actually I can actually sit here with no problem So how do I get out? I'm old. Guess I can get up. Get out.